When my sister and I were growing up, our family would celebrate Three Kings Day on January 6th, or the 12th day of Christmas, also known as the Feast of the Epiphany. It was a day that the three wise men arrived and gave gifts to the Christ child. This day is celebrated in many other parts of the world. As children, we would leave our shoes outside of our door with a wish for one thing that we would like to have. And if we'd been good little boys and girls, a gift would appear there in the morning. We had wonderful childhoods. Remember when Emily and I oh, yeah. we got the ones that had the, the lighted fingers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good evening. Thank you. Your tickets good. We're set. Thank you. One on each side. Since 1992, the Phoenix Zoo has been decked out with lights. What started as part of a celebration of their 30th anniversary has become a holiday tradition. The zoo cleared out its regular visitors, then reopened its doors at 5.30 for Zoo Lights, and we were there at opening time. This is sunset here in Phoenix this time of year, so even though all the lights were on, the full effect wouldn't be happening until it was truly dark out. So we thought we might check out the gift shop, then maybe swing into the on-site burger joint, it's called Aldo's, before we began our tour of the grounds. Hey, the burger and fries combo are really good. A lot like a smash burger, a little pricey, but not too bad. After dining, we noticed that darkness and silence had covered the sky, so we ventured out into a marvelous, mystical fantasy world of over 4 million LED lights. On its first year, there were a few hundred thousand lights. This year, there are nearly four million. There are also close to 700 handcrafted sculptures, ranging from small animals that use a dozen or so lights to elaborate creatures requiring thousands of lights. There are about four full-time light specialists, and it takes about 14 weeks to set them all up. 
The rest of the year is spent rebuilding, replacing bulbs, and maintaining them in anticipation of the next year's event. As many as 300,000 visitors attend Zoo Lights each year. It is the largest multi-day fundraiser hosted by the zoo. The only way to describe it is stunning. The awe and amazement on the children's faces and mine is ever present. The scale is absolutely over the top. No camera can do this place justice. It is definitely a must see event. It is almost sensory overload. Everywhere you turn is something new and wondrous. There are all kinds of animated light shows, including one massive one all around the lake in the park where trees, pillars, globes, and many other displays both in and out of the water dance to the beat of Mannheim Steamroller. How do they do that? But you can do that. You are a monk. Yes, the majority of the zoo residents were most likely asleep, but we did get a glimpse of some like these flamingos, and later, an American bald eagle. It seems that every creature in the zoo is represented with some form of lighted art and or lights. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Send me lights and angels
I guess that the camels were offering some guests short rides. Say, can you name the two different types? Number one, there's dromedary, and he's got one hump, and two is Bactrian, and they have two humps, and are often called ships of the desert. As you walk, you will eventually come to an older section that may most likely remind you of some of the older Disney type movies, and one section that seems to resemble a street in far off Colombia. We were here five or so years ago, and it was something then, but they seem to outdo themselves every year. There are also hanging gardens of lights almost everywhere. If you haven't done this, if you have young ones, are a family, or are looking for a fun and amazing time, this should be on your list.
They even have an assortment of insects on display. Well, that's lights anyways. We felt like we may have walked three miles before finally being ready to leave. By then, there were a lot of young ones already out in their strollers. May have to get one of those for myself. Your entry fee goes to the zoo and helps to care for the residents and enhance your experience here. It is fun, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. We sure weren't. The zoo is located in Papago Park in Phoenix. The address is 455 North Galvin Parkway, Phoenix, Arizona, 85008. And the lights happen from November 24th to January 15th from 5.30 to 10.30 p.m. They even have a drive through option. Hope you all enjoyed this visit to Zoo Lights. If you did, leave us a like, you know, a thumbs up and subscribe so we can all help the channel to grow. Next week, more fun in the sun right here on Our License to Travel. Until then, please, travel safe.